hello guys so in this video we will solve this problem the time in words so we just simply have to convert the digital time into the words so we will jump directly to the function so in this we will need a string to store our time in words we will take a string of 200 characters and then after we will use this words which I have already written for the sake of time I will just copy pasted it and we will use this word in our time in words that is we have started the this array of character pointers from 0 to 29 we will use these words to convert our digital time into words so after that we will need another character pointer that is quarter or half so in this we will write quarter and another word will be half so it is a character pointer so here we have to give square bracket and after that we will need another character pointer which is passed to square bracket and in curly bracket we will take a first word as a past and second word as a two So this is the data we are going to use to print our time in words. So after that it is a game of if else. So if time is 60 minus m equal to equal to 15 then we have to use str cat to time. quarter half of zero we will just copy paste this line because we have to use this line many times so after that we will have to print a space so the after that we have to add pass two of zero of 1 and after that we have to add a space and after that we have to add our plus 1 so I will give you example considering 7 o'clock so this will this if statement will print when the time is 745 745 it will print the time like quarter to 8 so we will need another loop like another if statement like this so we will just copy this and paste it here so in this loop we will take another condition when m is equal to that is minutes equal to 15 we have to just adjust these indices so here we have to do past 0 an hour so when the time is like 715 it will print quarter it will print quarter past 7 
so after that we will take another if where minute is equal to 30 we just have to change the indices here so here it will be 1 space pass 2 will be 0 and here it will be h so when the time is like 730 it will print half past 7 half past 7 we will print it again that if statement when m is equal to 1 we have to print our m and then after space then after st r c a t to time comma minute then after str c a t time space pass two will be zero space h so when the time is like seven zero one it will print one minute past seven so we will print that if again for when that m is equal to zero we have to print strcat time hour of h and then space and then we have to print o'clock so this will be cancelled deleted and this line will be also deleted we don't need these lines so when the time is like 7 o'clock it will print 7 o'clock and after that we need to take a condition where minute is not equal to 1 and minute is not equal to 0 and minute is not equal to 15 and minute is not equal to 13 and minute 60 minus minute is not equal to 15 then only we have to go in this a statement and we have to give another if here so we will just copy paste the first if we have copied into our clipboard then the minute is less than 30 then we have to print hour of 
explain it hour is hour this hour is a array of characters as you can see here the value of hours are he this so hour and then after string cat of time minus comma minutes then after we have to print a space and then after here it will be zero that is past and space and hour so when the time is like 720 it will print 20 minutes past 7 we will need another this all all these if part so we'll just copy it and paste it afterwards so when the minutes are greater than 30 we have to do some changes that is 60 minus minutes and then space then minutes then here it will be 2 and space and h plus 1 so when the time is like 749 so it will print 11 minutes 2 8 so our function is almost completed and then we have to check what is our return type is character pointer so we have to return the time so we will return time here give semicolon and we will run our code so this o is should be small so we have given capital so we have to just change that so here it should be in a lower case that's why it was failing so we'll run our code so all the three cases have passed we'll submit our code so all the test cases have passed so our code is running and if you so if you want more videos on hacker and solutions please subscribe to my channel and watch the hacker and solution playlist for more hacker and solutions thank you for watching